My dad and my Aunt Donna died the night I turned 12 years old. My mom and I had been home all day watching TV because there was a flash flood in the county. We couldn't really go anywhere and do anything. We were sitting there watching American Gladiators, which I used to love because the female gladiators beating each other up really got me going. I'd always imagined that one day I'd be able to find a strong woman like that to beat the shit out of me. Just as it was getting to a great part, these two gladiators were really going at each other. The phone started ringing. My mom got up and answered it, and they told her my dad's car had been found in the high waters off of a farm road no more than two miles from my house. He and my aunt had drowned. Lassie was just a puppy then. In between See that bird sitting on my windowsill Well, he's saying whippoorwill all the night through See that brook running by my kitchen door Well, it couldn't talk no more if it was you Up that tree, that sort of a squirrel thing Sounds just like we did when we were quarreling In the yard I keep a pig or two they drop in for dinner like you used to do. I don't stand in the need of company with everything I see talking like you. Up that tree, that sort of a squirrel thing. Sounds just like we did when we were quarreling. You may think you left me all alone, but I can hear you talk without a telephone. I don't stand in the need of company with everything I see. Fucking feed off my car, dude. Let me get a cigarette. Fucking stinky hands off my boot. Hey, you wanna find a Halloween party or something? I mean, I'm down to go get fucked up somewhere, but I'm not doing a costume or any fucking thing. I don't do costumes. I just put the like blanket. We got stuff. Put a blanket on you. It's cold anyway. I don't dress up in Halloween costumes. You know why? Do I? I mean, yeah. I know about my mom. yeah. I never told you what happened to me on Halloween. You've told me a lot of bullshit. Honestly, I tune <laughs> a lot of it out. But <laughs> well, you know, that's the essence of friendship, I guess. Um, no, dude, I'll fucking call my mom sucking some dude's dick in our garage on Halloween. What? Yeah. This big, like, 6'6", red-haired, weird-looking motherfucker. I get back early from trick-or-treating. We'd been out with some of my friend's parents. I walk in the garage, and she's going down on this dude while he's sitting in a lawn chair in my garage drinking a beer. It's fucked. What were they dressed as? He was dressed up as a baby. He had some kind of like weird diaper thing on and <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like a bib. Yeah. 
Oh, Are you man. sure it was Halloween and not just like a fetish thing? <laughs> no, I mean, are the I don't know if the two are mutually exclusive, but like, it was definitely Halloween. But yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, my mom's not into babies. <laughs> well, she likes you. <laughs> man, I'm fucking itchy, dude. I feel like there's like a bug in this car, so. And I'm cold, motherfucker. You got the sleeping bag. You got all them jackets. Just got these two blankets and a hoodie. We should cuddle puddle. Oh, man. Come on. You gotta take all my... <laughs> would, you, would you rather be stuck in a canoe with Michael Moore for two years and he doesn't have any clothes on and the only way you can live is to suckle his man milk from his ample teeth. Or... Did you say Michael Moore? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'd suck his tit. You'd suck his tit? Wait, what's the Or cuddle puddle with your best friend. Don't fucking grab it all, okay? I'm not fucking grabbing it. Do you want well, any you of mine? Hey, Mr. Beagle, how are you doing today? This is old Dr. Nick at the vet hospital. I uh, wanted to check in with you about Lassie. Um, I did get kind of the early test results back, and unfortunately, it, it does appear that Lassie has a malignant tumor. So the, the best uh, kind of action call out here would be, of course, to go to surgery, as you know, which, which would be very pricey. What is that? Or your present? Half of Cialis for you. Here. I don't want it. I don't want half. Did you take the other half? Does your dick not work all of a sudden? You're gonna have a good time just take half this. I'm not Cialis. gonna have a good time. I don't wanna walk around all day cutting yards with my dick hard. How is that a good time? As a half of Cialis, you only how... have a half chub. That's not how it works, dumbass. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, the half Cialis doesn't give you a half chub. The Cialis just makes your blood flow better, but probably not in your case, because yours is probably already flowing fine. You can give yourself a fucking heart attack. Okay. Yeah, you help your fucking self. <laughs> don't really take it. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Rick, happy birthday to you. Hey, I sent you a card, let me know if you got it, I put a gas card in it. Talk to you later, love you, happy birthday.
They were just showing about this dude that like installed a doorbell camera to watch little kids that were trick-or-treating. A full-grown man in a lobster costume. Super creep. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people have those cameras. Yeah, but I feel like that's not the intended application. Huh. I'll be back. Fructose. You pissed on my fucking dog. Oh. You pissed on Lassie. There's piss all over the goddamn tub. All in the ice and on the dog. Why would you do that? Oh, I couldn't help it. What do you mean you couldn't fucking help it? There's a goddamn toilet two feet away. Uh, fucking Cialis. Oh, fuck you and your Cialis. Paul thinks it fucking sucks. Wake up. Help me clean my fucking dog up. Clean the fucking dog. I'm just gonna get rid of the dog. Tell you what. I got a little game I play. It's called the finger game. If you can beat me in my game, maybe I'll give you a fish. There's this couple, they just got married, uh, and they were having their honeymoon. And they were getting, they were totally naked and stuff, having sex and all that. Now then, if you can touch me, I'll give you a fish. If I touch you, no fish. So, one, two, three. And uh, he, so he goes in the bathroom to check on her. And, uh, and she's stuck in the toilet. 
she's stuck in the toilet and uh, she's totally naked, you know, and stuff. And uh, and then um, the uh, so he tries to get her out, but he can't. So he calls a he calls a plumber to help to help her out, uh, get out of the toilet. And uh, and so the plumber comes in and he goes in there. He checks out the situation, and. Uh, and he comes out and he says, okay, well, I got good news and bad news. I've assessed the situation here, you know. And uh, he, the guy says, give me the good news first. Start the good news first. So, uh, You're really not going to give me a fish? You knew the rules of the game? Fuck you, fucking Republican. Have a good day, man. I remember when they moved in with us. My mom and I, uh, our senior year of high school. It wasn't bad having them around the house. And my mom didn't mind it either. She would always find them sleepwalking or sometimes just standing, staring off into the distance with their eyes open at night. And she'd always help them back inside, get them back to their bed. I think she liked being able to take care of somebody like that. They always had that shitty guitar that they're still carrying around now. I forget where they got it, but fuck, it's pretty much been there the whole time I've known them. And it's been dropped, kicked, set on fire, puked on. It can't hold a tune. It might be missing a string for all I know. That's one of the main things I want to do when I finally get a little money, is finally get them a decent guitar. They're awesome at playing, and I always felt so bad for them just having to tote that little piece of shit around. Did you even wash your hands while we were inside? I'm wearing gloves. Not on your fingertips, asshole. You need any bits of grass and shit in your sandwich, dude. Might have been dog poop in that one. I don't want to smell your fingers. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? What the fuck are you staring at? Let's go back to the dark husk that he came from, walking around staring at fucking people. You, you like getting stared at like that? No, of course I don't, but what you did, like, didn't make it better. It made it worse. I feel like I just have to keep telling you this, and he's just walking around looking at us like one animal in a fucking zoo. He was staring at me, like, I, I'm used to it. People stare at me. Just because you're used to it doesn't mean they're not fucking douchebags for doing it. <sighs> but I know how to handle it on my own terms. Like, I don't, I don't need you to defend me. And I don't like the confrontation. You're just drawing more attention. You didn't confront him. I did. Yeah, but I was there, and I... I can feel it, like it, I don't.
gonna be wacky. Tranquilo, no te voy a molestar Mi suerte estaba echada, ya lo sé Y sé que hay un torrente dando vueltas por tu mente, amor Lo nuestro solo fue casualidad La misma hora, el mismo bulevar no temas, no hay cuidado, no te culpo del pasado, ya lo ves, la vida es así, tú te vas y yo me quedo aquí, yo verá y ya no seré tuya. It's not breaking in if you have a key. It's still breaking in if you have a key. We're not breaking anything. Ask Richard Nixon. It's still breaking in if you have a key. Please, just let me just, let's just go in. I need to shit really bad, and I don't want to shit that gas station again. If it gets to 10 minutes, you're fucking pinching it off. You know I can't do less than 20. Come on, all right, come on. Let's shit. Nobody's here. All right, all right, come on, let's go. You already fucked something up, now the door's sitting there. Fuck it. Let's just stay here tonight. Suck a priest dick and how to build a fire, you know? Catholic Boy Scouts, they only give you so much. Uh, 
gotta eat fucking bread. Yeah. But gotta eat bread. There used to be somebody. Yo, it's the praying mantis, deep like the mind of Felicon, a motherfucking rap phenomenon. Plus, I got Moglocks and text in you. I make it hot, dudes won't even stand next to you. If you touch me, you better bust a me three times. Woke up, it was a Chelsea morning, and the first thing that I knew, there was milk and toast and honey. A Chelsea morning, and the first thing that I heard was a song outside my window. And the traffic wrote the words, it came a ringing up like Christmas bells and wrapping up like pipes and drums. Oh, won't you stay? We'll put on the day and we'll wear it till the night. It was a Chelsea morning and the first thing that I saw was a sun to yellow curtains and a rainbow on the wall. The red, green and gold to welcome you, crimson crystal beads to beckon. Oh, won't you stay with me on a day where's the sun show every set?
work this time. What the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to get some fucking sleep. God oh, damn it. I'm not hungry. And now, fucking mustard in my beard. You love turkey. I don't love turkey. You're very not hungry? No, I'm not fucking hungry. I don't care. Eat it. We got a big day today. Yeah. We're official now. What are you talking about? Official. I've seen my life. Are you fucking serious? You bought the fucking t-shirts that we agreed not to buy? I don't agree to that. And you didn't even fucking spell Moxie right. Moxie is M-O-X-I-E, not M-O-X-Y. So now, not only do we look like a couple broke-ass fucking idiots living out of a car, but we look like fucking idiots. God damn it. How fucking stupid that looks. How many of those goddamn t-shirts did you buy? 20. For our 20 fucking employees? It's cheaper when you get them in full. It's cheaper if you don't fucking buy any. You're out here buying goddamn t-shirts. We have one fucking mower that barely works, a weed whacker that barely works, and we just fucking killed somebody. And you're out here fucking buying t-shirts. What the fuck, man? He wake me up. I didn't sleep at all yesterday. I'm just trying to sleep for five goddamn minutes that's not in that car or but we just fucking left that guy fuck man I don't know why you would buy those without fucking talking to me about it we need money for other shit right now not t-shirts Things are gonna start looking up. Things are not gonna start looking up. These are good shirts. Like I said, we already look like idiots living on a goddamn car. And now, we're gonna walk around with how stupid we are plastered on our fucking chest. It's self-aware. Well, I don't think that's what I need right now. Any more fucking self-awareness. There are over 2,000 deaths from hit and run accidents every year in this country, but in our state that year there were only five. And for a brief moment, I thought that I had accounted for 20% of the overall fatalities. That's kind of like my dream for my future. Just sitting there by the river, a bunch of kids running around my house and yard, smoking weed all day, and just like watching the fucking fishermen that I sold bait to go out and fish and catch stuff. I think I could be pretty happy. Be a good place to have a family. Have a family? I don't say it like that. But... Talk to mom at all lately? Speaking of family? I mean, she called me on her, my birthday, but like other than that, I haven't talked to her much. She's not doing good. Why? Well, she met this dude who's like a fitness guru and he like drinks smoothies all day and rides his bike and he's kind of hot actually. And somebody fucking hit him on New Sweden Church Road and um, fucked him up pretty good. Damn. He's, uh, he's in the hospital and now she's fucking taking care of him because he can't fucking do anything on his own. But I mean, he's like, he's gonna be all right, he's... I mean, I guess, yeah. But you know mom, she's fucking flipping out. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I should call her, I just... I don't know. I feel like every time I talk to her, either like, have to lie to her or make her worried and... If she's already got him to take care of now, she doesn't need to worry about me. I 
think she'd rather have you call her and lie to her than not talk to her. I don't know. More and more anymore, I just feel like that's like the definition of love. People you give a fuck enough about to lie to. Except for me, you don't lie to me. Right? Not that often. I may omit things sometimes, but... I don't know. You could lie to me a little more. Nah. There's no fun in that. Where's your grandma? Uh, she passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, Recently? that's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. She had lung cancer, so. Mm. But, uh, I don't know, like I said, I think they might have been like her moms or her aunts but or something really, like that. But they could be really old. Yeah, maybe Antic, so. Vintage. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they were your grandmas. They're not stolen or anything, right? No. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Not no. Or something like that. Right, the next thing we have for auction is lot number 547. This is 1955 Long Star aluminum boat and the tilt trailer. Who'll start at $25 for the bid for the, this? $25. $25 bid now. Come on, $25, $25, $25. We go $25. $25 bid now. $30. We go $30. $30 bid now. $35. $30 bid now. $35. $35 bid now. $40. We go $40. $40 bid. We go $45. $50. You're out. $50 bid now. $55. $55 bid down 60. 60 down 70. Will you go 70? $70 bid down 70. $70 bid down 75. $75 bid down 80. Will you go 80? 80? 100? 100? $100 bid. $100 bid. You're out. $100 bid. Will you go 125? 125 down 150. Will you go 150? 150 down 160. 170. 160, 170. 170, 180. 180, 190. 190, 180. 180, will you go 190? 
190, we go 200, 200 dollars, 200 bid dollar going, 200 dollar bid going once, 200 dollar bid going twice. We go 210, 210. Now 225, we go 225, 225. Now 250, 250, we go 260. 500. $500, $500, he knows an aluminum boat when he sees one. $500 bid, now $550, $550, $550, $550, are you done, you through? Five sold, $500. What's your lot number? Good luck. Hey, what's up? This is Kirby. Me too. Yeah, it looks good. Thanks. I do like a two inch blade height. Seems to work. Hit me with another. Okay, we One know, more zinger. My, <laughs> uh, I have an addictive personality, uh, which means people just really like me.
That's that four. Four and two more, and I'm out the door. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. You crazy. I need to get that back. I need that back. Let's go. Ooh. Five, five. You rigging these guys. How you throw three fives, man? See, this is the third time, man. You're a suspect, man. You're suspect with them on these dice, man. I'm just saying. That's, man, come on. Jesus is on your side tonight, man. I don't know what's going on. Here we go. My Lord is stronger. My Lord is stronger than you. Two dice with you, man. Can't be doing this all night. Let's go. Let's see what you got. Take that too. <laughs> Shit, man. That's on you. I'll let you roll this time, man. Come on. You gonna put it all out there? We going all in? No, man. I'm just out of all damn twenties. All right. I'm about to say, when you ready? When you ready? I'm hot. I'm hot right now. Damn. Damn. All right, let me get. I'm gonna take the one. I like that. Cause make my stack look fatter. You know. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come Damn. Nice on you, player. You call me the devil. Yeah. I'm just saying, I got a hot hand right now. Shh, let's see that. Come on, man. You, you just give him your right, money like it's charity, huh, now, to me. You he must have felt bad. <laughs> what the fuck? You must feel bad at home. Uh-huh. Gotta give my grandma some new tea. Uh, it's your money now. Oh, man, I'm, I'm gonna take that. Alright. You guys uh you guys gonna stay for dinner? No, I think we'll probably just get something on the road. On the road? Probably just be away for a few days. Well hey, I um I got Paul's head back on. Oh, I don't know. I thought maybe you know. They're trying to take him from We did, I don't know, it was staying on. Thanks wanna, for trying. You wanna take it for the road? Uh, I, no, I think I'll be all right without it. If you can keep, keep him safe for me. All right. All right. Pleasure. Yeah, I guess I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you soon, man. Take care of Danny. All right. 